Hi everybody, I'm Ron Cantor and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. And today we're filming on this amazing overlook of the Valley of Megiddo. I'll explain that in a minute, but first I want to say that one of the most misinformed opinions of not only believers but filmmakers all over the world is this notion that there is going to be a battle of Armageddon. Nowhere in the Bible does it speak of a battle of Armageddon, but yet in virtually every movie on the end of the world you find the word Armageddon somewhere in the script. In fact, one movie was actually called Armageddon. But the Bible never speaks of a battle of Armageddon. So what does it say? Well, let's look in Revelation chapter 16. It says, Then they gathered the kings together, or the armies of the king, to the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. It says that they gathered here in what's called the Valley of Megiddo, or in Hebrew we call it the Jezreel Valley. Now why would they gather here? Because they can't get to the place that they really want to go, and that is Jerusalem. And the reason they can't get to Jerusalem is because there are these two problems in the city, and they're called the two witnesses. Revelation 11 says that these two witnesses can breathe fire against their enemies. So each time that the Antichrist sends armies or legions or whatever to attack these guys, they breathe fire and overcome their enemies. In addition, the Bible says that they shut up the heaven so that there is no rain. This infuriates the Antichrist and he'll do anything to stop these two guys, but he can't get inside the city. He can't get to the temple. He can't get to Jerusalem. So towards the end of the Great Tribulation period, the armies of the kings of the earth, of the Antichrist, they gather in this valley. Now you can see why they would gather here, because in Israel we're a mountainous country and it's not really easy to make camp on a mountain. So they find this valley, one of the largest valleys in all of Israel, and you could literally fit tens of millions of soldiers here. And they wait. They wait for what? Well, Revelation 11 says that these two witnesses, they eventually are overcome and they die. They're killed in the streets of Jerusalem. After three and a half days, they rise from the dead. They go to heaven. And at that point, there is nothing protecting Jerusalem. Zechariah 14 tells us what happens. This army attacks Jerusalem. Yes, judgment comes on my people, on my city, in Jerusalem. But I thank God that that's just verse 1 and 2. We also have verse 3. Because according to Zechariah 12, the Jewish people will cry out to God. And verse 3 in chapter 14 says that the Messiah, that God will come and he will fight for Israel like he fights in the day of battle. And he will set up his kingdom on earth. The Antichrist will be defeated. These armies will be defeated, but only after the battle of Jerusalem, not the battle of Armageddon. The good news is this, is that any end time scenario ends with Yeshua coming back, not the end of the world. Now make sure you go to God.tv so you never miss even one of our episodes. And you can find me at roncantor.com. Shalom from the Valley of Megiddo. Please follow Ron on Twitter and Facebook at Ron S. Cantor to find out more about Ron and his ministry. For more information on God TV and the Out of Zion programs, or to view these programs again, go to God.tv forward slash Zion.